Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Customer Ed Nuggets podcast series. I'm independent tech analyst John Lay from Talented Learning, hosting today's show with a special guest host and customer education expert, VP of Learning Innovation Advocacy at D2L, Kenneth Chapman. Kenneth, welcome and thanks for joining me today. Always a pleasure to be here with you, John. Thanks for having me. Uh, listeners, viewers, thanks again for tuning in and your interest to learn more about all things customer education from business case, LMSs, learning systems, content creation, marketing, e-commerce, community building to measurement and much, much more in little 10 minute segments or less. Feel free to binge. Okay, let's get going because we don't got a lot of time to waste, Ken. But in case somebody's been living on earth number two, can you give us uh, 20, 30 seconds of D2L and who you are as an organization just to clue everybody in? Yeah, John, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be part of the founding team at D2L. We've been a, a global learning company trying to help organizations reshape the future of education and work. We've been doing it for over 20 years. Um, we build modern platforms to support authoring great learning experiences, delivering those learning experiences, measuring them and discovering them. Um, so we service employees, customers, member learning, as well as adult and nonprofit education. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. And one of the nice things is, is uh, you've always been uh, innovating in terms of video, in terms of instructor led training and combining the two and doing a lot of uh, innovative things there, which is one of the other reasons I wanted you to come. You've been doing this for 20 years and you've seen a lot of the same innovations in both video and customer education as I have in mind. And, you know, it's uh, just a few years ago, listeners, you probably remember this too, having any old customer education program with any page turner content was sufficient to make a, you know, a measurable impact in the organization. But now that most organization, including most of our listeners' competitors, have some level of increasing customer education, Learners aren't so grateful for any type of content. They want better content, more adapt, more relevant, more interactive, more actionable. That's going to help them when to succeed when they need it and before they need it. And that's where video steps in. For decades, you know, learners have loved video learning, including myself. But generally, it's been cost and time prohibitive to uh, to produce and, and support, except for the most important initiatives. However, you know, the innovations of the last few years of cloud and mobile and social and AI have just been incredible for the, the use and the democratization of video in customer education, which is why Ken and I want to catch everybody up on hopefully some new content options to think about. What kind of innovations in video are we talking about? Well, before this session, Ken and I brainstormed and we came up with a baker's dozen without even any problem from interactive video, micro video, AI translations, searchable video, aug augmented reality, adaptive, gamified video, uh, translations, transcriptions, you name it. There's a lot of things going on today that weren't even uh, 24 months ago, but not all innovations are equal. Not all innovations are practical. And so today we're gonna talk about our top three innovations with video that you can use to raise the bar in your content today, not tomorrow, but today. And we're gonna talk about what they are, why they're important and other good stuff to know. And you're the guest. How about you start off? Awesome, love to. Before I say my, my specific um, example, um, some table stakes, video, super key. It's amazing for, for presence. It's amazing just for, for that personalized experience. For me able to share not just my, my voice or my message, but my body language, obviously like John and I are right now, our enthusiasm for the subject matter. But these are being viewed on mobile phones. They're being viewed on personal devices of all ages and, and brands. Meaning whenever you're using video, it's got to be accessible. It's got to be able to work on any device. It's got to be captioned. People are going to be looking at these videos in noisy places. They're going to want to be able to search them. They might have English as a second language. They may be using assistive technologies. And as we'll see, we may want to use those captions to train some AI goodies a little bit later. So always think about the accessibility of your, your content, whether it be video or otherwise. My first um, number one use case will be user-generated content. Um, mm -hmm. Learners expect this. I mean, this is part of our modern way of interacting with technology today. We're all creators. We expect to be able to put our own voice and, and context into things. So this is a big part of engagement, making sure that people are actually um, working with and using the learning experiences that are being designed, bring them into it. Let them share some experiences that they've done themselves. Let them capture themselves working on a skill or demonstrating a skill in a safe space. It's naturally a social and collaborative type of thing to do when you're doing it within a learning context. It's a great way to get 
feedback and tips from people that are farther along than you are from other um, contexts or other perspectives. Um, and it's a great way even to, to put people on the spot and get their immediate reactions. You know, maybe you um, play a, a difficult customer or, you know, someone that's coming in a certain situation, bam, you got to go record yourself and you can use some of that to get some feedback just on how well you did or with an evaluator or a mentor. A great way for you to um, find pervasive ways throughout a learning experience for a person to bring themselves into it and share their knowledge expertise with others and improve their own skills. Yeah, that's that's great. As a recovering LMS sales guy, you just never <laughs> get enough time to, to, to practice, you know, in, in real life. It's just a great way to get all of your team to practice at the same time uh, and, and be able to uh, to move it forward in, in their skills out in the fields. Okay, here's my choice for number two, uh, or number second one is interactive video. Interactive video is so cool, it's so easy. Uh, but what it is, is, is instead of having a video just like this, and in fact, uh, at this point in the video, go ahead and click on that thing that just popped up in the video. Interactive video is a way to do exactly that. Uh, bring pop-ups in there, stop the video to ask a question, uh, stop the video to drive different scenarios and, and take you down a different path based on uh, what you ask and include URLs, include different times that you can uh, collaborate with other users. But instead of just watching it from A to Z and being very passive, it's a way to pull the learner into the learning and uh, make it interact with a series of elements uh, that can be tracked and reported on and really take your uh, your video to the next level for learners, but then also for the measurement of your learning activities. Ken, wrap it up. What, Kenneth, wrap it up. What's your number three choice? Number three. AI-driven personalized feedback. Oh. So it's great to be able to be creating videos and be able to use those for, for uh, reflection and for other humans to give me some input, but machines can do that really well. Um, it's a phenomenal tool for me to be able to look at what are the outcomes that I'm actually trying to get out of demonstrating some knowledge, skills, or ability in this video. AI can help comb through the content and the, the concepts that you've been looking at and structure that so that when you get coaching and you get feedback from the, the AI after the fact, it's meaningful, it's contextualized. When I'm preparing for um, a briefing or a presentation, I can select, I wanna be humorous and I wanna be informational. And when I get feedback on that, I'm told how well I, I perform. Maybe there's another um, audience that I'm looking for where I wanna be more formal and I wanna be succinct. Um, you can create lots of different domains these days for AIs to give you really great feedback using examples of your own delivery and where they can be improved or where they're powerful. This can help me with things like my rate of speech. It can help people get rid of things like filler words. I'm noticing I'm using less ums in my conversation today. Maybe that's because of the AI personalized feedback. Wow, that's great. That's great. And the AI learns too and gets better at so you can train it uh, to even evaluate better over time. And that's an innovation that's super cool because it definitely wasn't here 18 months ago. And so it's not only here, but it's feasible. It's in products. It's it's something that you can deploy today. So there you have it, folks. User-generated content challenges, interactive video and interactive scenario, video scenarios, AI-driven personalized feedback are just some of our favorite video innovations that are being used today in progressive customer education program. Uh, programs. Listeners, do you have any video interventions or uh, uh, innovations that we haven't mentioned? Well, it wouldn't surprise us. There's a ton of them. Tell us about it in the comments section below so everybody can learn. And I want to offer a special thanks to our guest expert, uh, Kenneth Chapman of D2L for his time and educational perspective. It was a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you, John. All right. Well, you can find more about D2L's Video Empowered Customer Ed and uh, Corporate Education Learning Management System at D2L.com. And I encourage you to do so, listeners and watchers. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. And we hope to see you on the next Talented Learning Customer Education Nugget. You can find more of our fiercely independent education at TalentedLearning.com. And if you want to listen to our customer Ed Nuggets on the go, subscribe to our podcast on Apple, Android, Spotify, and many more. And uh, with the links provided in the description. So there you have it, folks. We have, hope to see you on the next. Have a great day. Thank you.